Hi, and welcome to Cooking with Miss Rose. Today we are going to be making tater tot casserole in our Ultra Pro casserole pan with lid. This can go in the microwave or in the oven. Um, tonight we will be making it in the oven. We are going to start out with our master shredder to shred up our cheese. So this is very nice because you can lock it onto your table so it does not move. It will not fall off. This comes with our coarse cheese shredder and our fine cheese shredder. We are going to be using the, the fine cheese shredder just because that's my preference. It's very easy to put together. This just screws on and now we are all set. We are going to put the bowl underneath here. We are using a half a pound of Kobe Jack cheese and a half a pound of um, mild cheddar. And this is very easy. Just hold down. And it gives you a very nice, finely shredded cheese. And my table is wobbling on me and I apologize for that. It's going to look a little shaky for a minute. So this is one pound of our Kobe Jack. And I want to show you How much cheese I misspoke. You can get from one this block. is a half a pound of Kobe that is a lot Jack more than cheese. You can get out of the bags if you buy shredded cheese. And this is better for you. There's no added ingredients to make the cheese not stick together. So it is always best to shred your own cheese. And it is super quick and easy. And I have, let me turn my bowl a little bit. And I have just shredded a whole pound of cheese. And I got a half a bowl full of beautiful cheese to unlock it. Just look like that, and it comes right off the table. Let's set this aside for later. Now that I have my cheese all shredded, I can move on to my hamburger. I typically buy hamburger in ten, a, a bulk package of 10 pounds, and when I bring it home from the store, I will fry it up, season it, and break it down into one pound uh, containers, and put it in our freeze, freeze it, smart containers and the shallow will hold almost one pound so I'm going to add this hamburger we are going to layer our tater tot casserole so I'm just going to add a little bit in the bottom and then I'm going to add some tater tots And then I'm going to add my cream of mushroom soup and my milk. And then layer it all over again. Okay, so a lot of us buy the cans with the little flip tops. So when you pull the little flip top and open it, your rim is very sharp and it will cut your spatulas. So with even with the flip top, we can use Tupperware's can opener and put it on the lid, put it in between the two pieces and you know you have it on correctly when you can pick up your can and it holds on tight. And then just quickly turn and the can openers are nice because Tupperware has designed it so a left-handed pers person or a right-hand person 
can use the same can opener and you will feel it click and that's when you know that it has gone all the way around. We have our little tiny jaws right here that you put right on the end, the end of the can and squeeze your handle together. And then the top comes right off. And I want you to notice that this is not sharp and neither is the lid of our can. Um, by doing this, the can opener will separate um, the lid. So the nice thing is none of the can opener actually touched your food. So your can opener is still nice and clean. So I'm gonna set that over there. I'm going to use a half a can of my cream and mushroom soup. And just, uh, I'm gonna use a whole can. And I'm also using our super silicone spatula, which fits in the can very nicely. So I can get all the added little pieces out of the can. Now I am going to add one can of milk. And then just pour it over. I only used about a half a can, and I'm gonna use the other half for the next layer. So now I'm gonna add, I've got my hamburger, my tater tots, my cream of mushroom soup, and my milk. Now I'm gonna add some of my cheese. So just to make sure everything's nice and covered, I'll show you what this looks like. So right now, it looks fabulous, and I'm gonna do. I'm gonna start all over again. I'm gonna add a row of tater tots. I am going to add some more hamburger. And I'm going to add more cheese. Oh, before I add the cheese though, I am going to open my second can. Ooh, nice catch. My second can of cream and mushroom soup. Again, I'm gonna use our can opener. And once it clicks, you could it spins freely. Then again, open it back up, use the jaws. Close the handle and it peels right off. So put that with the other one. And I am going to add another layer of my cream of mushroom soup. I use two cans of cream of mushroom soup, but only one can of milk. I am not adding any seasonings to this because I've already seasoned my hamburger. If you want to add seasonings at this time, that is up to you. I do not. I'm going to add another layer of tater tots. A, another layer of, or the rest of our hamburger the rest of our cream of mushroom soup. And the rest of our milk. I've already preheated the oven for 350 and this will bake about 45 minutes and then I will check it. Um, you can also add tater tots to the very top. And this is what it looks like right now. We are gonna put, oh, almost forgot to put cheese on top. Can't forget that. All right, and we're just gonna use the rest of it. And that puts it almost to the top. 
and I will put the lid on and put it right in the oven just like this. So I will be back when it is done. Thank you. Hi, I am back. Um, I just pulled this out of the oven. It was in there for 45 minutes. Please be careful because the container is hot. And I will show you this. All the cheese is nice and melted and it smells delicious. Just to recap, this is our tater tot casserole made in our Ultra Pro casserole pan with lid. Um, this lid, or this pan is good in the microwave and in the Hi, thank you for watching. Um, I just wanted one more little tip. We, so we cook dinner in the, in the oven. Um, with this great pan, we can then, after dinner, put it right in the refrigerator. And then tomorrow, for leftovers, we can pop it right out of the refrigerator and put it right into the microwave. This pan is microwavable and oven safe. Thanks for watching.